It's a full-scale manhunt for the men caught on camera drenching police officers with water and hurling a bucket at a cop's head. The humiliating videos have sent shockwaves through America. Disgusting and depressing. When I saw this, you're appalled by the obvious, right? I can't believe, believe people are doing that to police officers. Just the cops in the videos did not make any arrests, sparking a debate over what they should have done. And headlines like, when cops get disrespected without consequence, a city falls apart. A high-ranking NYPD chief had these stern words. Any cop who thinks that that's all right, that they can walk away from something like that, maybe should reconsider whether or not this is a profession for them. Today, we're learning more about the officers at the center of the firestorm. Oh, they not stop it! Oh, my God! The two cops who were doused and mocked in Brooklyn are both reportedly rookies. And when they returned to the precinct, they never mentioned the incident to their fellow officers for fear of being teased. Police brass released images of three suspects, and today this guy turned himself in to the 73rd police precinct. Police described the 28-year-old man who surrendered as a known gang member. In the disturbing video, he's seen cracking up as he dumps that bucket of water over the cop's head. But he's not laughing now. He's been charged with disorderly conduct, obstruction, criminal nuisance, and harassment. That person should have been arrested right then and there on our spot. But our officers, again, showing respect to the community and, and showed great restraint. What would possess somebody to do this to a police officer? Oh. You know what? We've been building trust over the last four years. But again, building trust and building relationships doesn't mean disrespect. Two other arrests were made in this case of a young woman who was being soaked with buckets of water. She pleaded with cops for help, but they appear to sit it out in their car. Going water is not a crime! Well, it turns out they are wrong. It is a crime, and they are charged with harassment and disorderly conduct. A department-wide memo tells cops they are not expected to tolerate conduct that may cause injury or interferes with their duties. And if they're doused with water, to make an arrest right on the spot.